Hello, uh, welcome to another Reva Academy. Uh, this week we will be discussing um, how to create a volunteer task. Um, I'll walk through uh, the the process of creating a task and um, some other items inside the volunteer module. Um, just a little housekeeping here, if you have any issues hearing or seeing anything, uh, please feel free to put something in the chat box and I'll be able to take care of, of the issue. Also, if you have any questions following this um, academy session, please feel free to contact support at areva.com or client success. Uh, all one word at areva.com and we'll be happy to address your questions. When you are um, uh, working inside uh, Exceed Further, if you go into the volunteer module, you have uh, different selections which are volunteer manu uh, manager, job manager, quick list, and my list. What you are going to be looking at is information within the volunteer manager. Now, um, tasks are individual um, uh, items that are qualifications to be associated with an actual job. So a job doesn't necessarily have to have task assigned to it, but in most cases, uh, depending on the type of job, you're going to assign it different tasks. For, for instance, if I go into job manager and I see, let me give us a little more real estate here, I can see the different jobs that are, are assigned here. And as you can see in the center here, you can actually see the um, tasks that are included, um, excuse me, those are tags. Let me go over. You can actually start to see, I'm gonna do my, one of my favorites, which is, let me get a beverage. My beverage assistant. Based on the um, type of information, the type of tags that are a task that are associated with this. I'm going to click edit so you can see that I've got the kind of job here. You have the job and then I can link the task to the job based on the list that are tags that are here. This one has a uh, bar back, garbage pickup and refill with glasses that are assigned as tasks. And it's uh, the codes that are here that you can see within the job. So how do you create a new task? Uh, I am going to, I'm in the uh, task list, and these are all different tasks that are associated. As you can see, you can have almost any type of information um, as a description. Um, they all, you have a code, you have whether or not it's active, the description, um, and then the system will capture uh, when something was created or how it was created. We've got uh, actually 43 different tasks that are here, but I'm gonna create a, a group of tasks uh, uh, based on the type of new job I'm going to create. So I'm going to um, do Salsa for Salsa Dancer. The If I want to, I can actually associate a tag with this particular task, but I'm, um, that says it's a, like a, a volunteer skill if I needed to, but I'm not going to. If I had any particular comments I wanted to um, put here, I could, but I'm going to just say save. And then I'm going to add another one, which we're going to say disco. Again, I'm not going to uh, do any particular type of comments or add a tag. And I'm going to put in waltz. I think you know where I'm headed here. Um, so now I've got um, three different types of tasks here for, um, and I can uh, search for them either by looking them up. Let's say if I typed in disco here, I see that I've got a disco dancer. That was one that was created and I did, oh, and I can even uh, open it up to add any particular uh, tags. And a tag might actually be a volunteer skill set. As you can see, we've got different type of uh, tag names. And if I had a tag for skill set, then I could actually 
attach this tag just for dancers. Now, now that I've got this here, I want to create a new job. And my new volunteer job is actually going to be um, D-A-N-I-N-S-T-R. And this person is going to be a dance instructor. I can even um, put in a, an hourly rate here to keep track of how often this volunteer instructs for my organization to teach dancing um, as a way of having an in-kind gift with volunteer hours. So I'm gonna say this person is actually worth uh, about $50 an hour if I were paying them retail to take uh, dance lessons from them. So I do a save and next. It has skipped the job from edit because I don't need to, and now I get to actually assign my tasks. So I know that based on the things that the uh, people were asking for, I want this to be a, a person who can teach the waltz. And there's my waltz dancer, so I will assign this to the person. And if I wanted to then add another one, I could also do that. But I, I only want this teacher to teach the waltz because I'm going to have a group of people coming in to practice, to prepare for a wedding. So I can say uh, save and next. And from here, I can create the schedule, but I'm not going to do that yet. Um, I've also got another dance instructor here with no position, but I'm, I'm looking for the one that's a uh, waltz instructor. And from here, I can create a schedule, assign um, a volunteer that has the skill set if it's within their their profile. And that is basically how you can create different tasks. A task can, as I said before, be just about anything that you need for it to be. Um, and you can have jobs with um, without a task um, added to it, but a task can only be a present if it is assigned to uh, a job. So um, generally when I'm, I'm giving the instruction and people want to decide how to determine what your volunteers will be doing, I say list the, the uh, list of tasks because based on the types of volunteering that you really need for them to, to be doing is how you would determine what their uh, role will be at your facility. And also you could have two people with the same um, volunteer title or job, but those jobs might, based on their skill level, be have different tasks associated. So let's say you have office worker one, office worker two, and office worker three. Let's say office worker one is a person who's going to be at your reception desk, greeting people as they come in, like in the before time. Um, or an office uh, worker two might be able to greet people, but also um, do data entry for you. And office worker three might have the skill sets of greeting people, uh, doing data entry, and also uh, performing other um, tasks around your office based on what they are. So they're all called office worker, but you're, you've now labeled them differently to put different uh, tasks associated with them. So that is the review for tasks today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the uh, support team at support at Ariva.com or client success at client success at Ariva.com. And we'll be um, happy to address your questions or spend more time on this particular module or anything that's in it. This uh, recording will be available again in about three to five days. And thank you very much for your time today. We try to keep the Ariva Academies kind of short. And this one was a pretty straightforward um, task if you uh, well, forgive my joke, and I will see you soon. Thanks again. Bye.